guys welcome back to all on law in this video i will uh, speak about the risk of uh, formula feeding what are the risks sorry risk of formula feeding okay what are the risk for example uh, um, um, a mother is not able to get the milk and if there is any medical problem because of which uh, uh, the baby may not be getting the uh, mother's milk is it okay if it is advised by the physician or pediatrician but do remember these are the risk that uh, there will be there will be a, uh, these risks uh, whenever the child is on uh, formula feed like um, what do you call the formula milk okay so let's talk about that uh, uh, first thing I would like to tell you is increased risk of infection. So there will be increased risk of infection from inherent and subsequent contamination of formula with microbes like especially the Enterobacter uh, Sakazaki. Remember two bacteria you should remember one is Enterobacter. Sakazaki Sakazaki and second important thing second important bacteria is that is very common is a salmonella salmonella okay so another important uh, that's uh, so this is the infection these infection you should remember that is the enterobacter sakazaki and salmonella and second thing is increased risk of uh, systemic infections um, like uh, uh, what you call uh, respiratory infections respiratory infections then uh, loose motions that is a diarrhea a newborn can develop diarrhea a newborn or an infant okay and uh, ear infections that is otitis media uh, there is a study conducted and it has been found that uh, uh, there is a, a 14 times increased risk of uh, 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 GI infections in a child uh, with the formula milk compared to breast milk and uh, 6 times more in uh, um, uh, respiratory tract infection compared to breastfeeding and uh, 4 times more is, uh, increased risk of having uh, otitis media compared to the breastfeeding. Okay, so these three are, uh, these two are important. And another one important uh, risk of uh, formula feeding is there is increased risk of uh, uh, GI tract infection that is known as NEC necrotizing enterocolitis and it's very fatal and uh, it's a really it requires a lot of high, um, broad spectrum antibiotics so we should be aware of that okay now let me move on to the this one what you call uh, other causes Sorry, I'm not good in this. Should I take a new pen? I think. Okay. So now another important thing is uh, sorry for this. Okay. okay. And now fourth one. Uh, fourth one. Uh, sorry. Okay. Fourth one. Uh, the fourth important thing is that you should remember the child can have increased risk of asthma. Asthma. Okay. Or any other allergies also remember. Not only asthma, there can be other allergies, skin infections also. Okay. So another important thing is uh, they, the child who is on a formula feed compared to the breast uh, milk, they have reduced cognitive development. The intelligence, the thinking power, cognitive development will be mildly reduced. So sixth point is um, there will be increased risk of chronic diseases like uh, diabetes mellitus type 1. Okay, diabetes mellitus type 1 and ulcerative colitis, inflammatory diseases, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease. Okay, so they can be it, it increased risk of these things. And um, well, we don't know exactly the incidence. And there will be increased risk of cardiovascular diseases, increased blood pressures, obesity, cholesterol level, atherosclerosis. So cardiovascular, so cardiovascular problems will be there. Okay. Uh, 
and another one important thing is the last thing is uh, there will be increased risk of side effects of environmental contaminants and uh, harmful effects uh, like uh, of uh, melanin and these melanin can cause kidney stones and BPA BPA that is nothing but uh, bisphenol A okay so these are the important risks of formula feeding one is increased risk of infections like enterobacter sakazaki and salmonella and increased risk of acute respiratory infections diarrhea otitis media increased risk of gi infection that is especially the necrotizing enterocolitis which is very fatal and increased risk of allergies like asthma and allergies other allergies and uh, there will be a reduced cognitive development intelligence will be affected and increased risk of uh, chronic disease inflammatory disease diabetes mellitus ulcerative colitis the crohn's disease and there will be increased risk of cardiovascular problems also okay so thank you so much do subscribe to our channel take care bye